Kogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Sheffield here for the weigh-in for the Hennessy Show tomorrow night live on Channel 5 at Ponds Falls. With me I've got former world champion Junior Witter. How are you, Junior? I'm very well. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Looking well. Repping Jay-Z. What's the weapon? That's it. Um, Max Maxwell tomorrow. Um, I know there's a bit of a puncher, but um, you won't let that phase you tomorrow night. No, well, I'm not underestimating his power yet. I mean, he's naturally a bigger man. He's, he's boxed at middleweight quite a lot. Yeah, he's, he's had a good few defeats recently, but you can't take away a puncher is a puncher. He's naturally a bigger man. And he will be coming in thinking, I can make a little bit of a name for myself by beating me. I know he will. So mm. I've got to go out and take him out. You're coming off the back of two defeats. Where do you stand in your career at the moment? The last time I spoke to you was probably before your last fight. You know, you said you still had a, a burning desire to recapture the world title. Is that still there? The desire is still there and it's still burning strong. But realistically, I'm a realist. I look at things in the real world and I think, right, for me to get my world title, I've got to go out and win a domestic title. I've got to win the British Commonwealth or the European. I mean, I'd love to win the European next, but I've got to get one of them titles. So working way back up, take another title, get my world title shot, win that. That's my game. That's my goal. I've got years left. How old are Years. I'm only 40. Are you 40? I'm 40. Are you trying to be like the beehop of the <laughs> of Sheffield? Well, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep going. You know what I mean? Um, as long as I'm fighting well for me, I'm not getting beat up. I'm, I'm beating people who are credible. I'm carrying on. You know what I mean? And unfortunately for me, you know what I mean, I'm not getting fights I want straight away. But I will be back. I will be back on top. If you were to retire tomorrow, would you not be content with what you've achieved in your career? Yes, I've achieved a move and beyond what um, so many people thought I would achieve. I knew I was good. I knew I'd win the British title in my mind. I thought, I'm going to have a go to crack world, world title. I might get that. I worked hard, got through it. The closer I got to it, the more realistically, the more realistically it was. And I knew that I was going to win that world title. And I won it. And I've achieved the first ever British light welterweight to win WBC belt. Yeah, I'm in the history books many times. I'm happy. Two-weight British champion, Commonwealth European, EU, yeah, European, Intercontinental, WBF title. I've done loads, but I know I still have more to give. So while I still got more to give, I'm going to give. All right. Mate, you started talking again, didn't he? So, <laughs> I think it should be all right with you. Yeah. He, won't, he won't stop. Um, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. It's an Right, we've had to move to uh, near a woman's clothes shop. <laughs> Junior, don't shop here, but the MC was a bit too loud. But um, training camp for this fight, everything gone well in the, in the Ingle camp? Yeah, you know, I mean, the gym's been busy. It's been busy. We've got a lot of people on this bill. So therefore, we've stayed at home, we've been in the gym, and we, everybody's been just up the game. And it's been it's been good. Mm. It's, and like Kel box last week, so Kel's been in training hard. We've brought people in for him. We've had people around the gym, so the gym's been buzzing. Obviously, we know uh, Kel Brook is uh, not too far off now. He's a uh, dream of uh, that world title shot uh, against uh, one of Paulie Malignaggi or Sean Porter. So. And obviously, Kid Galahad's fighting for the European title. That, that gym must be buzzing. It's, yeah, it is. It's got a nice buzz about it back at the minute. And they're just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I mean, there's so many other kids coming through. Like you've got Latif Shafi, who's on this bill tonight. Brilliant talent, going to come through. Going to make a big name. Kid called Abraham um, Horner. Another talent coming through. He's only had one pro at the minute, but he's another kid who's going to do very well. All right, well, listen, I think this press conference is about to start. Uh, yeah. in the middle of the shopping centre. I've not <laughs> experienced this before. No, it's different. So, uh, we'll see. Are you going to uh, flip any tables today or are you going to push anyone? Do anything? Well, my, I don't think my opponent's turning up so I can't push him. Oh, right. <laughs> but, um, I might just go sit up there and have a little word but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, Junior, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Uh, best of luck tomorrow night against uh, Max Maxwell and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep, thanks again. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you.